Sans four. Hello. Je suis à Moscou, le directeur du film Un Medved. Ce film raconte l'histoire d'un type qui vit à Paris, à New York, en Milan. Rico est un photographe. Mais il pense qu'il est un gangster à la Belle Mondo, dans Abu Souf. Un tendre bandit, un solitaire, un profane. Il use sa caméra comme si c'était un revolver, la chargeant avec des balles d'image. Il est constamment à la recherche et ainsi brise la délicate balance de ce monde qu'il avait créé pour lui-même. En vérité, j'ai toujours trouvé les films de Godard et Truffaut les plus énergiques et créatifs films que j'ai jamais vus. Peut-être, de la même façon que ces deux hommes ont vénéré Scarface et Haïtia et les films qu'ils ont vus à Paris dans les années 50, j'espère de faire de un de mes thèses un film français produit à New York. La nouvelle vague française a prétendu qu'ils étaient en train d'essayer de faire des films d'Oligo. Moi, par contre, je suis en train de réaliser un film français. Ainsi, on peut dire que les courants ont changé et que la vague a maintenant atteint l'autre rivage. Bien, que veut dire ce film C'est la simple histoire d'un garçon, d'une fille, d'une caméra, de chapeau et de quelques cigarettes. Rico est un petit mec avec de très grandes idées. Un petit Napoléon. Comme il dit au commencement du film, un photographe est un chasseur d'images et ses poids sont toujours des garçons ou des filles qui lui apparaissent français. La fille peut bien être de Tennessee. Ce n'est qu'après avoir capturé l'image en prenant cette photo qu'il se décide enfin à lui parler et découvre alors qu'elle n'est pas réellement française. Mais la photo a déjà été prise. Et ensuite, qu'est-ce que fait Rico Bon, il construit un grand rêve sur des tas de petits rêves cassés. Il emprunte de l'argent et ne le rend jamais. Il est un poète et un philosophe. Et il... On le recherche et il recherche quelqu'un. Ses conversations sont surtout sur des sujets existentialistes. Les caractères abondent, il est toujours à la recherche de mieux. La solitude, l'ennui et l'aliénation sont une peste. La ville semblait se pulvériser autour d'eux. La dernière lieu séparée de la société qui les dépasse. Qu'est-ce qui arrive, enfin Rico rencontre Kitty, un garçon rencontre une fille. Et leur amour est étrange pour ce qu'ils voient et ce qu'ils ne voient pas dans l'un et dans l'autre. Rico pense que Kitty l'aimera, parce qu'il est le plus cynique d'entre les deux. Mais il ne voit pas qu'elle pense qu'il est un stupide et qu'il est fauché. Kitty a besoin d'argent, des choses que l'argent achète. Il essaie donc de changer Rico. Mais il ne voit pas que Rico ne veut changer que de la vie à la mort. Par conséquent, Rico tombe, Kitty part, probablement avec un autre homme. Rico est désillusionné et amer. Il ne verra personne, s'isole et se cloit. Il se tourne encore vers la caméra pour un dernier adieu à cette vie. Il la charge pour la dernière fois. Mais il ne photographiera pas de gens cette fois, car il l'a laissé tomber. Il se contentera seulement de restaurants, de places qui ont des noms français. Il est ruiné, il ne peut plus se les permettre. Mais il peut encore photographier. Tout marche bien jusqu'à ce qu'il sorte de la chambre noire et constate que malgré qu'il a essayé d'éviter les gens, une personne, un ange mystérieux, apparaît dans chaque portrait. Le dernier mystère se déroule maintenant et il part chercher ce homme. Finalement, il trouve son adresse d'une sinistre vieille dame et quoi qu'il réalise que cette adresse n'existe pas vraiment, il continue. Le mystère a pris le dessus et puis l'homme apparaît. lui explique la signification de la vie et lui tire dessus comme il essayait de s'enfuir. Quoique blessé, Rico continue sa course folle comme Ferdinand 
pardon, à vous de ça. Jusqu'à ce qu'il tombe. Ces derniers monsons, c'est un horizon bleu en oh, clair. Oh. This is a, a, a little phrase. C'est un horizon clair pour petit record. <laughs> Naked city, Paris, bright lights and dirty streets, a strange town, expensive jewelry, a bathtub blonde, harmonica playing wrestlers, crooked politicians, crooked cops, rub out a cop and you really get the guillotine, killers wear sneakers and baggy suits, blind men on the Champs Elysees, this is my town, a passion, and an obsession. There are eight million stories in the naked city, but I can't even remember one of them. I try to read the empty page. Melancholy hides my face. Booze and broads. Alone with rage, I try to look at your face. I steal from the naked. Nature has its plans, but no reflection. Civilization makes demands. I live for just one reason. I am. I am a story in my stride, and poetry in my hand. Alone, with one complaint. Little Nita, you ready to take my picture? My name is Rico. Not little Rico. Rico the photographer. Rico the liar. Rico, the one that falls in love with his eyes, but never with his heart. Rico. That's me. Yes, it's true. But little Rico is someone I could kiss. What do you want these pictures, anyhow? Can I have some vodka? Sure. Pour me one, too. 
pictures are for publicity, to put in the windows and bars, and for newspapers, and one for my boyfriend. So, you're a singer, and you have a boyfriend. What do you sing about? Oh, the usual cafe numbers. Blues, melancholy, love, Paris in the evening. Sing me your song. Sweet thing, you did that thing to my heart. I want you, I need you, I do. Sweet thing, I simply can't get enough. Of you, sweet thing, you came in big with my heart. It's beating, repeating your name, sweet thing. Now you're on the tops in my hall of fame. While passing by, you smiled at me so friendly. The day was so languid and warm. But look there, look there, look there, stood I with nothing to defend me. No wonder you took me by a storm. Sweet thing, you came in big with my heart. It's bidding, repeating your name. Sweet thing, now you're on the tops of my heart of faith. Sweet thing, sweet thing. Tuesday? No. Friday. Okay, bye bye, little Rico. Hello, Rico, my pal. What's happening? Uh, get lost. My name is Rico. Okay, it's Rico, Rico, Rico. Why don't you get out of here? I'm working. Well, what's the matter? Don't, don't you like me anymore? What's wrong? Look, I'm adding a picture. Do me a favor and just get the hell out of here, all right? I'll see you later, little Rico. It's Rico, not little Rico. You got the money, little Rico? I need some time. I got a big deal cooking. You want a slice of it? No, I'm trying to go straight. I'm driving taxi. It's hard work. I get a lot of headaches.
You must meet a lot of girls that way. You still taking pictures? Yeah, there's no money in it, though. Meet a lot of beautiful women, but getting really bored with them, sick of them. Got a big deal next week, film project with a really ooh la la blonde from America. Hey, I'm sorry to do this, but just give me 10 bucks till next week. Jean, shake your head. father had a farm. He sold it and trained to be a slalom skier. We moved to the mountains. For three years, we almost starved. Daddy trained. Every day, he got closer to his dream. And older, too. Finally, after five years of practice and deprivation, he made the Olympic team. Mom and I went to Grenoble to see him the day of the big race. After the first half of the slalom, Daddy had the best time. Mom and I held our breaths. We were so excited. At the last gate, he fell lost the race. Somehow, he never skied well again. Listen to Camus. I'd taken him by the neckband of his cassock and in a sort of ecstasy of joy and rage, 
I poured out on him the thoughts that had been simmering in my brain. He seemed so cocksure, you see. And yet none of his certainties was worth one strand of a woman's hair. Living as he did, like a corpse, he wouldn't even be sure of being alive. Actually, I was sure of myself, sure about everything, far surer than he. Sure of my present life, of the death that was coming. for the 48-hour bra, the bra that breathes in and out, in and out. So comfortable, you've got to try to believe it. Take it from me. J.M., you haven't lived till you've tried the 48-hour bra. At better stores everywhere. Are you man enough to try new Super activated. FOMO share. <laughs> yeah. Deeper. Deeper. Smell the rich exotic fragrance. Touch the full body. Take it all off. Full motion. Shit, it's 3.30. I should have been at the studio a half an hour ago. Paul, I think these girls are tramps. Hi. Oh, what do you think? Eh? Janita, 
good spanking. That's what you need. <laughs> Slap her in a big can. Hey, hey. No heavy stuff. That's the bottle, eh? You need a drink, eh? Um. Oh, you drink out of my shoe. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Look. 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 Yeah, look out. Oh. Hey, what? More. Yeah. Good. Chicklish? Un pas chez moi. Un pas chez moi dans. On y va chez moi. Et puis. Euh... What? Hey, un pas en haut. No. Um. I'm moving out. So it's not love after all. It was at first, but now. Where will you go? I'm leaving the city. I have a friend in the south of France. You'll be so bored, I warn you. Paris is the only place to be. The rest is for the farmers. If you leave, you'll be back in Paris after two days. Mark my words. Maybe, but I have to go. If I left Paris, what I'd miss most is l'art de triomphe. Where's Kitty? She's selling the East Sea Paris on the Champs Elysees. Look at the clouds. They look like faces. Uh, everything looks like everything else. Like you. You look like a wheat field. You look like Mont Blanc. You look like a crab, or a wooden spoon, or a chess piece. Now you look like Stéphane Audra. But if I get you from this angle, you're Anna Karina. Huh. Let me see that magic box. Now you blew it, baby. You look like yourself. What happens if you keep taking pictures? If the film just never runs out. If the film never runs out, well, then we'd be immortal. You would be every woman that ever lived. I would be a, a genius. An abstraction of every artist that ever lived and died. Is that good? No. Then it's bad. No. Bye-bye, little Rico. Thanks for the memories. You know, I'm like this hamburger. I'd like some more wine. Other cows told this cow that they understood. But what good did it do him? Could you see in the womb? Yeah, no good, I tell you. I'm here. This cow is here. Just in different states of indigestion. I passed out cold and I came to. Life was washed by the shadows of Paris. My year, 1959. How old was I? Seven, nine, 20? It doesn't matter that the heart flies, but that the head soars. Oh, Rico, why are you such a fool? You remind me of Napoleon. Charlemagne, Joan of Arc, and Truffaut. What is impossible? To imagine something or someone. I can't imagine. I'd like some pecan pie. 
to set him up, Joe. I got a little story I think you should know. It's quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. Feeling so sad. But it's gotta be true to its soul. So make it one for my baby and one more for the road. mightier than the gun, a film more rare than bullets.
Diderot said, O oh, madman, maddest of madmen, how does it happen that in your wretched head there are so many true ideas along with so many absurdities? Look like someone. Who? A famous actress. What's her name? I don't know, but you look like her. mightier than a gun, a film, more rare than bullets. The deadest object seems so alive, while only the living are dead. You couldn't take such a world seriously. There was a time, just one child lived on the planet, just to roll the dice. Now I'm the last man. Just me. Just me and the image. I took pictures of things that pretended to live, and I made them deadly. Now I changed the focus, only pretending to live. Well, every man has its reasons. Lumiere, oh, pure fantasy. Melies. Pure fantasy. But Rico. Rico. Pure reality. The world skins before my eyes like a bad movie. Life through a keyhole.
Had a match? Not since Montgomery Cliff died. Thank you. 
Hello, Kitty. Look, I've got to get out of my place. I'm moving in this afternoon. Right. Okay, I'll explain later, all right? Right. Right. Okay, baby, I'll see you. Little Rico. You talking to me? Yeah, ain't you Little Rico? Nobody calls me that. My name is Rico. What's in the name, huh? You're born, you live, you die. Who are you looking for? Angel. You want Angel? I give you angels. You have to go and cut up Bill Rico. And he said, Hey, Paul, what are you talking about? The boy ran into a little accident, that's all. He was taking too many pictures, getting stopped. So, you owe us some money. What's a few million francs, anyway? started to laugh. They didn't laugh very long. I put the thin end of the stiletto to his throat right there in the office and killed the Sicilian bodyguard and made it out to the window into the street. Anyhow, you see, baby, I have to hold up here for a while. How did 
she get in the dress room there? Yeah. I drifted into it, I guess. I drifted into everything. Don't you? No. I plan everything. Every second of my life is planned. them at all. One moment they're alive, and the next they're dead. It's all taken for granted. If one could choose between despair and feeling nothing. The difference between the two. Or the difference between the two. The only strength one can find in life is an unmade bed. When the limbs and the sheets are as one, the years free. They mean nothing. Do, but hang out. 
don't know. I appreciate you saving me from these doldrums. I can't want you to get the crown. Okay, okay. Let's get another pastiche. Costo? I was in Saint-Tropez, but I met this really hot, red-headed girl. Too much. Now she had everything. Car, house, beach, boat. A lot of sun, wine. Wow, too much. Couldn't take it. So hot, why didn't you stay down there? Uh, you know how it is. Yeah, I guess so. You saw Stan Getz last night. How was it in Oh, it's really good. Sacks hit the ceiling like a dog wailing over a grave. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? Check out that heat, boy. Pretty nice, no? Yeah, what is that? Cold 32? How did you know? I used to have one. Really? How does it feel to be a gangster? Uh, well, no. come on, give me my heat back. I'll come make it. When you feel most like a gangster. That's a strange question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess in the morning when I get dressed and um, I put my pants on and I see a nice broad lying next to me in the bed and put my heat back in my pants, I feel like I really got something there. You big jerk. How about you? Uh, probably the ritual of loading my camera for the shoot. But I told you that already. Yeah. Did I tell you that? What happened in Marseille? No, what? Well, I went down there in the North African quarter. No, that's two weeks ago with this guy named Joe. Yeah, I know Joe. Yeah. Well, anyway, him and I just were walking down the street and this guy just all of a sudden just jumped on us. I don't know why. And, just, and we just beat the crap out of him. I couldn't believe it. And I, I was really amazed. Uh, like when we finished, it was so senseless, like all this blood and stuff so, all over the place. You getting second doubts? Uh, I can't afford it, you know. No. See, I, I always thought cold blood was, was better. Because the minute you, you have contact, you, you're not alone anymore. And I don't know, it makes me feel strange. The cigarette's gone already. They smoke themselves for you. Yeah. Ba -da 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 What happened to that bird, anyway? Oh, uh, it's passed. It's finished. It's all over. No, oh, come on, Pico. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get some of that chick. You know, it's dot and then it starts over again. I think somebody said that before. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's better this way. I don't know. I always thought I was self-contained. Oh, that's bullshit. You can never run away from yourself. I feel so claustrophobic. I want to get out of town. You know the, you know any place where you can go? Maybe Rio, maybe Montparnasse. Oh, that's probably the same over there, too. Yeah, I know. Somehow this town is getting a little too hot for me, too. Let's go to the White Horse, you want to? Let's blow this berg. Sure. Carson, can we have another pasties, please? Why don't you do something useful with your life? What? Do something useful. Yeah? What? what? I, I don't know. I'm all right. I, I feel good. I'm, I'm breathing and drinking and... I got this broad and... What else do I want, right?
How are you? Well, I was on top of it. Now I don't know. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I don't know. Well, listen, I better get moving. Get, you, you have any suggestions? I know. Read a book. Yeah, but words don't mean much to me. Huh? Only actions. Um, I know. Well, I really do. I really had to do something, Rico, but I don't know. I don't know why. <coughs> um. Okay. Do you, you want to come with me? Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. but no friends. I bet he's in love. Maybe. <sighs> if God is dead, even love is possible. Melvin said that. Irving? No, Jean-Pierre, the director. Who would you be? <laughs> A rebel. A star. A gangster! Al Capone. Phantom Ass. Pepe and Moco. Chicago. Morocco. Cast a blank out so I can blow the brand of the fucking people that are watching this goddamn screen. I would be myself. Sinatra, Emerson, Eric Mitchell, 
Take it from me. Your fucking kid sitting behind that camera, I'm gonna shoot the hell out of you. I don't know. I like it. 